हाय इन दिस वीडियो डिस्कशन यू लर्न घी प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस दोस्तों इस वीडियो में आप डिटेल में पढ़ेंगे कि प्रोसेस क्या चाहिए और ट्रेडिशनल प्रोसेस और इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोसेस में घी प्रोडक्शन कैसे किया जाता है और उसमें बेसिकली टेक्निकल टर्म्स कौन कौन से हैं फर्स्ट टर्म दैट इज व्हाट इज मीन बाय घी घी दैट मींस व्हिच इज मिल्क फैट दैट मिल्क फैट इज क्लैरिफाइड दैट मींस मिल्क फैट इज सेपरेटेड टू 99 टू 99.5% मिल्क फैट इज इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ घी दैट मिल्क फैट which is clarified from the milk or maybe from the milk cream or from the milk butter that means whatever the milk containing this fat that fat is clarified in which must required to contain 99 to 99.5% milk fat it is called as a ghee without any addition of other ingredients like the salt and other any color and the other food additives in which must required to final moisture containing not more than 0.3% these are the specifications which are the given for the specific ghee in which the milk fat moisture then free fat acids acidity and the color these are the standards what are the methods which are used in the ghee manufacturing process these are the main four methods first one is the desi or the indigenous method that means traditional process jo ghar pe apan ghee banate that is the traditional process desi butter in which uh, we can produce the danedar ghee uh, specifically depending on the initial quality of that milk if we use the full cream milk then we get the danedar ghee by the traditional process then industry level manufacturing process involving first that is the direct cream method that means milk is uh, milk containing fat is separated by the cream separation and after that they are clarified then next one is the creamy butter method creamy butter method in which the unsalted creamy butter is converted to the ghee by clarification process and last one is the pre stratification process in which the white butter which is first preheated and after that the layer separated and the ghee is prepared by the clarification process uh, in this table you can see the basic principle main steps and the remarks with respect to the specific type of the ghee manufacturing process we can detail discuss in the next slides first desi or the indigenous method traditional method जो घर पे अपन घी बनाते हैं उसका प्रोसेस फर्स्ट फुल क्रीम रॉ बफेलो मिल्क व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू फर्स्ट प्री प्रोसेसिंग इन व्हिच फिल्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस देन पास्चराइजेशन और मे बी बॉइलिंग फॉर 5 टू 10 मिनट्स टू किल द व्हाट एवर द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द पैथोजेनिक लोड्स देन आफ्टर दैट कूलिंग टू द इनोक्युलेशन टेंपरेचर दैट इज द 38 टू 40 डिग्री सेल्सियस देन एडिशन ऑफ द स्टार्टर कल्चर that is the fresh curd is added at the rate of 0.5 to 1% for the production of the curd then after addition of the culture they inoculated and incubated for at least 12 hours at a normal room temperature and finally we get the fresh curd this fresh curd is added with the equal quantity of the chilled water and they churn for at least 10 to 15 minutes by high speed churning process resulting we get the desi butter this desi butter is then clarified by the heating into the open pan jacket how we can identify the ghee is prepared the specifically we can observe the color of that ghee or the sound of the ghee during the processing if the cracking is stopped and then golden color is appearing of the ghee residue we can stop the heating the process and finally the cooling and the filtration process and the ghee packaging second method that is the direct cream method industry level pe mostly ghee banane ke liye milk processing karte samay jo received milk hai received milk ka pre processing karne ke baad uska cream separate karte hai cream separate 
that means whatever the milk is first pre processed and after that separation of the milk cream by using the centrifugal separation process resulting we get the milk cream in which containing at least 35 to 40 percent milk fat which is pasteurized and then after that they are stored into the store tank and after that they are continuously feeding into the continuous butter making machine. In this continuous butter making machine, we can get the white butter and the buttermilk. Buttermilk is separated. White butter, which is the white butter, is uh, used for the production of the ghee. In the ghee cooking process, the steam jacket kettle provided with the external jacket for the heating system, internal provided agitator. Initially, white butter is preheated and charged into the cooking vessel, which is heated initially up to 90 degrees Celsius to remove the whatever the containing moisture until the cracking sound is stopped continuously heated to 90 degrees Celsius. And after the stopping the cracking sound, temperature of that ghee is raised up to the final temperature which should require to at least 107 to 110 degrees Celsius. During this heating process, the whatever the ghee residues, this ghee residues containing color is changed into the slightly golden color, then stop the heating process. That means the temperature maximum required 110 degrees Celsius and after that, the stop the heating. Then next filtration cooling and the filtration process. The filtration is carried out by using the plate filtration systems and whatever the ghee residues, this ghee residues is removed and the filtered clarified ghee is then cooled and packed into the packaging system in which the packaging is carried out by using the plastic bottles or maybe into the laminated pouch system. Next third one is the pre-stratification ghee production process. Pre-stratification means separation of the layer. The white butter, jo bhi white butter hai, jo white butter ko first upon pre-eating karne ke baad usme layer separate hote hai. Aur jo bhi layer separate hote hai, usme se jo bottom ka layer hai, us bottom ke layer mein maximum butter milk rehta hai, wo first separate karke uske baad uska clarification karna padta hai. In the pre stratification method, first the processing steps involving that is the milk is converted to the white butter by the similar butter management process and after that this white butter is first is pre stratified by biting the at least 70 to 80 degrees Celsius for 50 to 30 minutes. Then resulting we get the three layers, the top layer is that is the denatured protein, the middle layer that is the main fats, milk fat and at the bottom layer containing the buttermilk. Then after that buttermilk is separated and uh, this resulting we get uh, directly the clarification of the ghee is very simple. Then after that continuously heating the, the same of that uh, remaining constituents at least we require to heating up to maximum 110 degrees Celsius in which the whatever the ghee residues they change their color then after that the stop the heating then after that the cooling and the filtration process after the filtration whatever the residues this residues is removed this residues is called as a berries ghee residues then filtration process after that is uh, then sedimentation tanks in which the cooling is carried out and whatever the remaining ghee residues these are the removed then after that the finally clarification by using the uh, different system maybe filtration system or by using the centrifugal clarification system to remove the whatever the remaining fine berries residues and after that they are packed into the packaging system the basically key production process the main critical control point is that is the cooking temperature should be required to not more than 110 degrees celsius in which the time temperature combination that is the 105 to 110 degrees celsius for 30 minutes is the critical control point then control points with respect to the 
quality parameters like the sweet smell and the filter without cut and the clean holes. Then processing equipment's requirement in the small scales will require to only a simple open pan kettle or the core making machine for the large scales using the steam jacketed kettles. Then pressure relief filters or the plate frame filters. Then plastic bottles, pouch, packaging machines. The yield of the ghee. This specifically depending on the fat content of the initial milk. The full cream milk required 18 liter for the production of the 1 kg of the ghee. The storage conditions normally ghee is stored under the normal atmospheric conditions for at least the shelf life is very long. That is a 1 to 2 year sufficient if the moisture containing is less than 0.3%. CIP process clean in place for the ghee production process. These are the main steps involving in the system for the cleaning of the ghee production uh, equipments. These are the references used for the preparation of this PowerPoint presentation. Thank you very much.